YouTube, it's your boy Big Mike. Hey, since it's already, already about six months into the year, um, so we can go ahead and talk about uh, what's our best pickups thus far. I do this every year. Uh, me and a thousand other YouTubers do it every year. But since nobody has this video up first, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Uh, we have some amazing uh, releases this year from Off-White, uh, Jordan Brand, uh, to Nike, to SB, to uh, Yeezy. So we want to see what top um, what top shoes you have in the six months uh, thus far. So my picks are mainly, I can tell you right now, mainly uh, Nike because I don't really pick up many Adidas at all and I'm not finding many Yeezy. So just a disclaimer, that's what's going on in this video, all right? So without further ado, this is a short video. Y'all comment down below and let me know at any time in the video what your favorite pickups of the year are, okay? And if you see something that's even contender of the year for a uh, shoe of the year, don't hesitate to put it, all right? So let's go ahead and move forward. All right, YouTube, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rank these from, I guess you could say, least to uh, my most favorite, okay? And least would have to be, don't get it twisted now, these are all dope. At least we have to be um, the court purple ones, okay? It's a dope colorway. Um, everybody thinks the 1.0s are better. I, in my opinion, think these 2.0s are better. And I know they get a lot of hate because of the leather tongue on them. But these are actually fire. And as you can see, I changed the shoelaces on these things, man, which is dope from the old All-Star ones that came out, I think 2017. Uh, I, long, I no longer have those, but I put those laces in there. These are dope, man, just a fire colorway. What's not to like about purple? Uh, Lakers, LeBron, Kobe, Magic, y'all know the saying. All right, moving on. This was kind of hard. Um, I went with the UNC threes next, okay? This was kind of hard for me because I do think this is one of the dopest shoes to release this year, man. Uh, with this tongue of the UNC colorway. And I told you time and time again, my high school colors are light blue and white and gold, actually. But these are actually right along that borderline. And with that back tab right there in the Jordan brand. Uh, and navy blue. It looks black, but it's navy blue. Dope shoe. Elephant print kills the threes. Classic, man. So y'all comment down below at any time uh, about my um, lineup of the best shoes thus far in 2020. All right, moving on. You got the one and only Flint 13s that just released uh, over the weekend, man. Just released over this weekend. I hope everybody was able to get pairs. I've seen a lot of people say they got L's. Um, if you got an L... Uh, my 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 advice to you would be go ahead and buy now because they're never going to go down again. They're going to go up, okay? So on these other sites that they're on, uh, these resale sites, you got to go ahead and cop now, man. I've seen prices from uh, anywhere from $340 to $350. And for a shoe like this, for a GR they released, that's pretty amazing. So this shoe is pretty sought after. Um, it's a dope classic. You already know. Check the 3M on it. It's fire. Dope colorway, you got the gray suede on that thing, man. Y'all already know. If you want to see a review on any of these shoes, look on my channel and check it out. Just going through my top uh, dope releases thus far this year, man. Everybody was waiting on these. So again, if you haven't copped these and you haven't bought them and you want them, buy now, buy now. All right, going to my number one uh, shoe this year. This was actually, <laughs> some say lucky cop. Uh, some say the shoe of the year. Drum roll, please. You got the Nike SB <laughs> Chunky Dunky Dunks, man. Uh, not much to say about this shoe other than these are fire. The colorway's dope. Uh, the light blue on the toe box hits real good. Uh, the material on here, some would say that the leather is uh, somewhat cheap, they say. But if you look at all dunks, man, it's the same leather that comes on all dunks. Um, you got the bovine hair on here, which is supposed to be real animal fair. And it's pretty nice, man. It's actually pretty nice. 
the colorway the inside, you got the tie dye on this shoe and the other shoe is different tie dye as well. I don't feel like pulling this shoe out, but it says Ben and Jerry's in here and also behind the tongue. You see it reads, uh, I think it's not fun, don't do it, something like that, or why do it. Uh, that's pretty dope. Comes with these other shoe strings. You can switch it out with the green. You can switch it out with the yellow. I think the yellow will pop better than the green in that shoe. In my opinion, and you have the green on the bottom that's for the grass, which is pretty much dope, okay? Pretty dope. So, with that being said, man, that's it. This is my number one shoe for 2020. The Chunky Donkey, Funky, Bunky, Dunks. <laughs> Till next time, y'all. Like, share, come and subscribe. <laughs> hey. Hey, I was coming out here to think about getting some Ben and Jerry Chunky Monkey. Just look at the Ben and Jerry section. The hype is real. Look at the, look at the section, bro. All they got left is a chocolate chip cookie, though. Look. Oh. Crazy, man. Yeah, can you say sure to you?